And welcome back to part 9 of What if the Third Okage Adopted Naruto Uzumaki. Last time on Naruto What If, we left off on the whole, on Naruto finishing up his training to Ryan. Now, not only did Naruto work out a deal with Kurama, I uh, was able to alter the mind, his mind skit a little bit. He's in a cage, yes, but he is ca he's improved his quality of existence to some degree. And therefore, he's a, a Kurama and him at least reached an agreement that if he needs to, Naruto can reach out and access his chakra. But he also learned summoning jutsu, and through Jiraiya, he learned the ability to use, uh, use seals. Now, I heard someone say that, yeah, change the cage. A cage is still a cage. And Naruto shouldn't have been able to do that. I, th I can't remember exactly what someone said, but they were commenting how Naruto shouldn't have been this good a seal master. No one could alter the seal or something along those lines. And basically what it was is, is there's no evidence true that anyone could manipulate their mindscape, but there's no evidence that they couldn't and that the cage itself is basically a byproduct of the seal that was used to seal Kurama. It stands the reason that through some shenanigans, I suppose you could say, that the seal, it could be altered, not in a way that affects the seal itself, but in a way that affects Naruto's mind's game. This was just my logic. I'll admit, it's a little stretched, but that's the way I went about it. Um, but, uh, yeah, so Naruto, but this has also caused Naruto to learn more about seals. Now, we've seen, I already explained, he knows how to use sealing uh, seals, and he knows how to use sword seals. He knows how to make explosive tags. And I showed off a new seal I created called the Magnet Seal, which acts like water or um, tree walking where a ninja adheres to a surface, but in a different way. Instead of being able to move around, you're stationary, but you don't have to waste your extra chakra on it. And then you can kind of just put another bit of chakra in there and kind of just dismount. There are other seals out there that we will probably get into at some point, but for now, those are the seals that we have. Uh, and I, when we Naruto and Jiraiya get to like the hospital, just to check in on Naruto... Uh, Jiraiya basically, uh, Naruto tells him about this idea he had about, you know, gloves with seals on him, and it, and Jiraiya even asks, what seals would you put on him? And Naruto tells him, he's like, oh, that's kind of interesting. But anyway, uh, so, the Naruto, so we cut now to the after, it's in the final weeks. What's been going on at this point? Well, A, Hinata's been out of the hospital now for a while. She's been busy, uh, you know, just working on, um, working on just uh, staying, getting stronger, but also helping Sakura out too, because her and Sakura, while rivals, are still friends. So, and, and this comes along with Kur uh, Ebisu realizing that Sakura, while she needs to improve her physical capabilities, and has done so to a very decent degree, she and increase her chakra reserves to for what would be considered decent at that time for a Genin or someone with low chakra reserves, she still needs to learn more. So she needs to test herself out against physical opponents, and she it's probably best that she learn a bit more. So he called Kurunai in, her being the best Genjutsu user in the village, at least according to the majority of people out there, she's the best Genjutsu user. That was her specialty at any rate. And, you know, they spent the next two weeks, along with Hinata, uh, really training up her physical handling and combat skills, and adding some more Genjutsu under her belt. As I said, she has a variation of the um, the tree binding technique and the cherry blossom blizzard. What else will she have? Um, I'm a, we'll, we'll see what I, we'll see what uh, you know fate has in store. Uh, everyone else's training is pretty much the same. Hinata has been a little bummed she hasn't been able to go find Naruto, but he she also knows he's training. And when Sakura even uh, points out like he it, yeah when he you got rushed to, uh, into to get checked on. Uh, for your injuries, Naruto uh, swore on your blood that he was going to uh, that he was going to fight for you. And she's like, R and she's like, really? He, he said that? Yeah. Oh man, I wish he, I wish he said that about me. But then again, I, I wouldn't want to take the beating you took. And it's like, yeah, I'll let you have this one. You know how to say? And she's like, hmm. and she's beaming a little bit. It's like, so you still get that interaction with Naruto and Gara and Shikamaru because Naruto's probably spending an extra day in the hospital just to be safe. It's been time to work on some seals, too. So Gara comes in, and Shikamaru and, and Naruto both stop him. Naruto obviously gives him the whack straight to the face. Oh, come on, I'm still connected with him, Naruto. Uh, as like, I'm a monster. And, you know, talks about the monster. And I don't think Naruto is as thrown off by Gara this time around as he was in the canon. I still think he's a little taken back by just how 
deadpan emotional scar seems to be about the subject. Uh, and just like, he's like, I'm going to, I want to kill him. But, um, he's not, it's just like, uh, he's not like just deer in the headlights because, you know, he's, he's spoken with the Fox. He's, he's been able to get more of a repertoire with the Fox and he understands the Fox at least to the most mild degree, but still, he's still taken back of it by Gar and the sand comes up, but then guy comes in. Uh, it begs the question too. Do you think you know some of the Joni would actually be able to have stopped Gar at that point? Like we saw a guy stop his sand. We can assume, and from what we see with Guy later on in the series, we can assume that Guy or Kakashi probably could have taken down Gara. But could Azuma or Kur and I, to be honest, could they take down Gara? I'll be frank. I don't know if I don't know if Kur and I could because Chicago Shock would probably be offsetting Genjutsu. And I don't know if Osmo could, because the sand alone would be enough, probably enough to stuff a lot of his wind jutsu. But, I mean, at the same time, he could probably bypass a lot of the sand uh, sand with his chakra blades. So, I don't know. Maybe. And then he's also got the ash cloud technique and explosive cloud. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's like an explosive. It's the ash cloud that explodes, kind of. Anyway, I digress. So, we cut now to, like, the final days, and, you know, Naruto's... Just getting ready. He's in his favorite training spot. Uh, well, he's in the Team 7 training spot. And he's kind of just psyching himself up. and you know. But at the same time, he's having reservations because he just he's seen how strong Neji is. And even though he's got a lot under his belt, he's just not sure it's enough. And that's where you get the Hinata. He's like, Hinata! It's like, Naruto, hi! It's like, oh, I, oh I'm so glad you're okay. I've, I've been mean to stop in and see you, but uh, I, 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 you know, I've been so busy training to beat Neji's butt. Oh, are you, are you, did, are you really going to beat him? That's right. I swore I'm going to beat him no matter what, but and no matter what, no matter what. And, you know, it, it, Nars like, well, I mean, yeah, I'm going to do my best, but if I'm going to be honest, he's, he looks, he's pretty strong and he's probably the strongest opponent I've fought so far. I don't, I really don't know if I, uh, if I have one, uh, I don't really don't know if even everything I have throw at him is going to be enough, but I'm going to give it, give him my all. And then he you know, just looks at him like, that's enough. It's like, what? Your best. That that's all. I've, that's all you ever have to do is do your best. Just like you tell me to do your my best. I'm telling you, Naruto, do your best. Doesn't matter to me if you beat him or not. I just want you to do your best. And Naruto just looking at like, <laughs> uh, but uh, but but it would be cool if I beat him, right? And then Hinata you know, just giggles like, yes, it would actually be very cool if you beat him. Uh, I was like, that, Hinata, and you know, it gives a sincere thank you. And then you know, it's blushing, and she's like. Yeah, thank you too for just for for standing up for me and having me back. It's like yeah, well you know. I was like yeah, yeah I, you're you're really important. And she goes a little far. You're really important to me, Naruto. I was like you're and Naruto's a little taken back by this, and you can feel a little bit of the blush. She's like <clears throat> well, I mean you're you're someone really precious to me too, Hinata. <laughs> and they're blushing too. It's like yeah, and Hinata works is working up the nerves. Like do it. Get, get, kiss him. Doesn't have to be on the lips. Just kiss him. It's like, well, I'll, I'll see you later. So he goes off. It's like, no. <laughs> it's like, no, I almost had it. But it's like, they had a moment. It's like, okay. Um, by the way, I'm probably going to be playing this back and forth for a while with the Hinata and Sakura thing. Because they're both getting some decent moments here with Naruto. So we won't, I won't settle on what my choice is until Shippuden. Let's be right now. There's no going to be no dating right now. No. There's just gonna be uh, there's gonna be just flirtatious hormones all around, flirtatious hormones. That's a band name, write it down. Um, so the day comes, and obviously Sasuke is missing. Now, one question you might ask is, does Doster try to take out Gar early? The answer to that is, I don't think so. And the reason I don't think so is, first off, he has to fight Sakura. So even if he took out Gar early, he still has to fight Sakura, and then has to fight someone. Uh, really, I don't actually understand what his logic was. I think the only way his the way or the only way I think the way his logic was working was okay. I'm getting the buy, so if Gar is dead, they're gonna pair me up with Sasuke. That's the way it's gonna be, and logically that does make sense. Here, that's not the case. He knows that even if he took out Gar, he'd still have to fight Sakura anyway, so there's no real point in it. He could take out Sakura early, but then he's just stuck with a bye, and that means then he has to go and kill someone, and then it's just going to get really suspicious. 
So, no, it's Dosu shows up ultimately for that day. But we have the Neji versus Naruto fight. Now, luckily, Hinata's not going to have that whole <coughs> coughing up blood spell she did because she did not take anywhere near as severe damage as she did initially. She took a lot of internal damage in the first, uh, in the original fight. In this, she got a good co couple hits in and it really effed her up, but it wasn't anywhere near as bad. So. Uh, you know, they, okay, uh, all the combatants except uh, Naruto and Neji uh, head to the bars. It's like, uh, prepare to lose. You may be the, a fate may have shined on you to be adopted by the third Okage, but the destiny has proclaimed me the winner. It's like, and Naruto's just looking, he's like, what the hell are you talking about? Destiny, and Neji's just talking about destiny and this and that. It's like, Naruto's looking at him, just, des uh, destiny is a load of crap. You know, th things happen, and sometimes things may happen for a reason, other times they may not happen, but life is random, and you just gotta work, you gotta work within what's going on, and you can't, even if, and even if destiny exists, you can't, you don't get to claim what destiny is, destiny is what happens, you don't get to tell, you don't get to say what happens, and call it destiny, only for it to not happen later on, like, I, I always found that interesting, that Neji, who was, uh, who was like uh, just so obsessed with destiny? He's like, sorry, but this is reality. He's just talking to the Naruto clone, and the Naruto clone uppercuts him, and then he just starts talking. He's like, I forgot, it's your uh, famous technique. I got careless. It's like, so wasn't destiny for Naruto to lose then? What? What? Like, it's like, and then, like Neji, and I do feel like the fact Neji had a really good character arc actually. Like when you really look at it from all the characters, ne uh, Nar I mean Naruto and Sasuke. They had their character arcs. Whether you consider them good or not, they had full character arcs. But Neji got a full character arc, and he was not even the main character. So he, he I really like Neji's arc overall, kind of being from this destiny obsessed prick to the Neji we grew to love. Um, and let's be honest, Neji's a fan favorite. So yeah, <laughs> and Naruto's like, I'll, sh and it's like, I'll show, you, I'll show you just what destiny has in store. It's like, so be it, and begin. And Neji, no, may, uh, and Neji sets his stance, but immediately he. Um, but immediately, he uh, has to, like, avoid wind and hand shirk. It's like, what? Yeah, it's like, where did those come from? Where did those come from? It's like, when Naruto is immediately coming in, chakra blades extended out much longer than normal. Because, I mean, seal work does take finesse, and the summoning jutsu increases both his reserves and I think a little bit of his control, so he can maintain these blades a bit easier now. And Naruto is immediately just coming in at Neji. Neji is trying to to, you know, close the distance to get some hits in on Naruto, but Naruto is using the blade, one, it's always keeping a blade pointed at Neji while he's coming in, because, honestly, he would be trained in trench knife fighting by Azuma to some degree, adding his own natural unpredictable uh, nature. Meanwhile, yeah, so Naruto's always keeping a blade directly pointed in some fashion at Neji, so if he parries with one, um, or thrust with an, he, he parries with one, he's always thrusting with another, so it's back and forth, so Neji is always at at least a, a foot and a half to two foot distance farther than he wants to be, and by time and you know, Naruto's just pressing his he uh, he he knows my skills in the hand and combat, but those not but those damn trench knives are making it difficult, uh, making it difficult, very but not difficult enough. And he finally is able to use his chakra to stop the blade. It's like got you, it, it got you. It's like do you? And then all of a sudden he hears Gale Palm! And all of a sudden, gust of air comes in and just boom, phew, gets gut checks him real quick. But he almost knocks him over. Where, where did that come? Uh, and he sees a clone behind Naruto. More clones pop up. It's like, of course, he used clones. Uh, he's the he made the clone while he had me distracted. Uh, he's unpredictable, that's for certain. And then Naruto's you know back in stance again. He's like, very well. You you wish to see what I can, but I'll have no more messing around. Because I imagine Neji would be underestimating Naruto to some degree. Now he's not. And he, immediately his speed picks up. It's like, he's gotten faster. And then he does tag Naruto at least once. Like, <clears throat> damn! And then, the, you know, the chakras, uh, the, um... And he hits him again in the shoulder, which causes the, um... The wind blade to flicker just a bit. Just, uh, it's like, it's... Got you. It's o um, Got you. It's over. It's, and all of a sudden... Naruto is like substitutes with one of the other Naruto's and just getting knocked out. Like, and all of a sudden, they're got you. And all of a sudden, and then all the Naruto's surrounding him. Wind still, blades of wind. <laughs> and obviously, the wind blades come out and the rotation. It's like, what? 
and you know the rotation blocks the wind blades like i was hoping to i was hoping to be able to use that against the physical attack but the thing you had such long range techniques on because that was the one technique he probably didn't use i mean not he used it with uh he used it with uh against kiva briefly with his uh with his blades but he didn't show if he could use it without the blades and now he did so uh, and so neji just like uh just stands like <clears throat> You're de you are dangerous. I will get, you're dangerous and skilled, Naruto Uzumaki. I'll give you that. But destiny is on my side. It's like, really? And then Naruto just puts the trench knife away, and he just like, eats like Jesus Ray's like, show me. <laughs> Neji's like, fine. And then Naruto's basically just putting some chakra into his hands. And then you can see, it's like, what is he planning? And Naruto is basically just blocking as best he can. He can't block them all, but basically he's blocking and dodging combination, blocking the hits he can with his hands, and boom, they both kind of go flying back, and it's like, <laughs> so he won't be able to mold chakra in his hands anymore. I've got him, and all of a sudden he just sees air concentrating into his hand as Naruto's just off the fly making this technique. It's just, Gale Pump, Hurricane Bomb, boom, just concentrate, shut just boom. And just throw, and Neji just like, rotation pin! And it just kind of knocks the rotation off balance. He's able to avoid it, but he kind of hits one of the tree, of the wall of it. Just, Puh! It's like, what was that technique? Oh, that's just something I can't bother fly. But how are your hands still able to be using chakra? I sealed off the chakra points. Did you? And then he just focuses on Naruto's hands. It's like, no, I did. It's, he's still got chakra. How? Wait, what is that on his hands? And then he sees it. Seals? Yep, I picked up a couple tricks on, um, I picked up a couple uh, tricks all, uh, over the uh, over the month. One of them being seals. Seals. They're really seals are really cool. You can do a bunch of things with them. And there's two seals. One's the magnet seal. I like there's two seals over his palm basically on both sides. He says he, Naruto probably will add more, but right now this is all I can really do. He's got the magnet seals and he's got these chakra seals designed for absorbing chakra. They're not the most advanced chakra seals. I've still got to work on them, uh, on. Um, on um, incre increase the amount they can uh, they can store, and then I got to and then I still got to work on a way to uh, maybe drain them into some other maybe my, into my supply or into something else. Right now they're just keep, uh, holding on to chakra, holding on to chakra until I just let, let it fizzle out. Uh, I can maybe hold on to uh, probably a getting's worth of chakra, but seeing as the amount of chakra used for that uh, technique is so small, that's uh, they, they uh, these have more than the storage for it. And then Nardis actually, Nardis is showing the analytical side of his nature. I was like, and given the amount of chakra that rotation probably uh, it requires, you're, I've got more than enough storage space for these bad boys. And if I have to, I can just release it for more storage space. <laughs> and Neji's just like, like true, but can you keep, true, you might be able to block uh, block some of my strikes, but can you keep up with my sheer speed? And he just suddenly pauses and gets a Naruto's guard. It's like, oh, crap. It's like, uh, eight trigams, 60, uh, two palms, two, four, four palms, four palms, eight palms, 60 palms, 32 palms, eight trigams, 64 palms. They're just barely able to block maybe 10 of them. It's like, crap, 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 crap. <laughs> But Naruto's not down, just, uh, he pulls out his trench knives again, trying to follow Chakra. Like, uh, he can get some Chakra in, but it's just, he's struggling. Uh, I didn't, wasn't able to get all of them. And he's, and he's huffing because Naruto's draining quite a bit of his Chakra through this little procedure. I wasn't able to get all of them, but I was able to get enough. You won't be throwing out any, any more uh, ch uh, techniques like that anytime soon. And then I was just kind of like, is that right? He's right. I can't, I can't, uh, I can't uh, break open these, uh, my chakra seals. Well, there's always, there's always the last ditch effort option. It's like, no, that, no, it's time to face reality. And all of a sudden, Naruto's just chakra goes red. Like, what is this? Is this chakra? Is it gonna eat me, chakra? All, all right. Uh, I needed that boost. Uh, and his chakra, his chakra points have opened back up. What is he? And then you know, Naruto finally just releases the chakra. <laughs> all right, let's try this again. And it just suddenly rushes Neji, and Neji just comes in using the rotation. And, you know, and it's like, not this time. Naruto actually grabs the rotation and using the chakra seal actually drains off the rotation. And, um, I mean, it's not enough. He doesn't have enough storage space on these things to drain all of that off. But he, it's enough to, like, really slow the rotation down. Naruto then just comes in and just cracks Neji straight in the face, sending him right into the wall. Just, and then Neji just is near... 
lands on his feet, but he's like, he's crumpling down. It's like, give up now, Neji, while well, you still can. Naruto's chakra blade is just raging green and red right now. Very Christmassy. Um, is it, how can, what are you? I'm Naruto Sar Uzumaki Saratobi, and I'm going to be in the next Okage. Believe it. You really think you can be in the next Ko Okage? Please. And he kind of goes, and this is where he actually goes into what happened to him about Destiny, all that. And Naruto's looking at him, he's like, I'm sorry that happened to you. I am. But when I become Okage, I'll, I'll change it. I'll change the fate of the, of the Hyuga clan. It's like, you, <laughs> you think you can do something as, as a, uh, monumentous as that? You are no one. You are no one. Just an adopted offspring of the Hokage. Which that really irks Naruto. I was like, yeah, he was adopted. Yeah, the Hokage adopted him. But guess what? He, 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 no matter what, that's still his family. That's still his friend. Uh, you don't insult him. And you know, Neji tries to, uh, you know, just throws a punch at Naruto. Naruto just, boom! It's like, but it's like that reminds me. It's like you don't insult my family. You don't insult my loved ones. And then that that reminds me. And just suddenly grabs Neji up. I'm ending this as he just brings his hand right towards Neji's gut. Just uh, Neji just starts trying to, you know, close the uh, the chakra points. But Naruto was just using the fox chakra to open back up. It's like, why won't they close? Why won't they close? I remember just like that scene for V from Antenna. Why won't you die? Why, why won't you die? Because, Mr. Neji, behind this mess, there are more. There's more than just a man. There's an idea, and ideas are chakra proof. <laughs> to paraphrase it. Great. I love V from Vendetta. I own V from Vendetta. I love that movie. Um, but it's like, you know, this, it, it's like, you, you insult my family, you insult my friends. You, and, and all because, all to make yourself feel better about a situation you didn't have a choice in. And you got kicked yourself in believing a, a bullcrap destiny that doesn't exist. You're the one who. You're the one who doesn't get it, Neji. And by the way, and all of a sudden, just guys right there, it's, it's Gale Pump just concentrate right there. Boom! Blast Neji right back and just boom! Cracks him against the wall. Just, ah! And Neji's near out cold. Just, that was for Inada. And then Neji just, boom! Uh, uh, and Neji just struggling. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to get up, ref. And, you know, the guy just looks at him, again, but just looks at him like, nope. Neji is unable to battle. The winner is Naruto Uzumaki. Yeah! Everyone cheers. Kazukage at Orochimaru is like, my, he's quite, your, uh, your, uh, your grandson is quite the, uh, quite the formidable ninja indeed. To think he has such, there are such ninja with such power. And uh, Sartobi's just looking and saying, indeed. And uh, Naruto, uh, Naruto told me Jirai I taught him to use some of the fox's chakra. But to think, uh, to think he had uh, overcome such a thing, uh, to grow in such, uh, gain such control over the weekend. And I don't think that's all he's uh, learned yet. <laughs> Very impressive, Naruto. And so then you then Shino Kakuro fight doesn't happen. Gara Sasuke fight is pushed off. The Shikamaru Nara, the Shikamaru and, um, um, the Tamari fight happens the exact same as it does. Although Tamari does pay more attention to Naruto because of Winjutsu. Uh, and then you get the Dosu versus Sakura fight. And, initially is uh dose is like eh, this will be just as like last time quick and painful and then you know he just clangs them both together comes in thinking he's got sakura but sakura just you know genjutsu's her way it basically uses a genjutsu uh oh wow uh, ninja art uh white light uh, white light blinding and then poof, it's like, eh, it's like, what is this i can't see basically the type of genjutsu this is is it basically if you've ever watched bleeds uh eisen's zanpakuto Kokia Sugetsu. I might be mispronouncing the first name. It's a uh, illusion. It controls the six senses, but basically you have to see the release for it to actually take effect. If you can avoid the release, you're actually immune to it. Uh, or it won't affect you, at least until you see the release of it. But um, what this is, basically, if you see the flash, you're blinded. But it's a Genjutsu. If you realize that, then you can get out of it. But it's a Genjutsu. So Dosu is like, doesn't want to realize what's going on. So it's like, oh, it's a Genjutsu. Uh, just, and then Sakura, being Sakura, but just cracks him right in the gut, and then cracks him again, just boom, puts him down. And he's just like, Dose is unable to battle. Winner is Sakura Arno. Yeah! I was like, whoa, go Sakura! I was like, how oh, did you avoid my genjutsu? Uh, my, my sound jutsu? Sakura's looking, answer me! Oh. Sorry about that, what'd you say? <laughs> I was like, what? So yeah, you use sound jutsu. So I just put uh, made sure to come into the fight with earplugs. 
And I mean, it seems simplistic, but when you really think, and yeah, when you do that, they even explain that doesn't work. So because at least when the sound initially gets in, but if she started the fight out with earplugs and couldn't hear a thing, there's no real logical reason the sound wouldn't work. Now, if he had done what he did with Choji and hit her straight on, that could still work. That type of attack could still work, but ultimately soccer wins that fight. I usually have Dotsu lose just because when you see his abilities and realize he probably didn't train at all for the next match, it's easy to overcome him, really think about it. I digress on. So that's that's the first match, uh, or first round. And then obviously Sasuke rides with Gara, uh, rides with Kakashi to fight Gara. So that's where we're leaving part nine, where it's Gara and Sasuke about to uh, face off. Till then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. I'll see you folks tomorrow for Green Lantern or Lantern Court video. Excuse me. Land record video and the next what if. So thanks for watching. See you next time.